Good day, everyone. In the last six weeks, Globus Energy Group achieved a lot, and the next six will be even better. We signed a team in agreement with ACOM, the world's largest engineering firm, and Elite Energy, which is co-founded and led by the dynamic Dr. Jalal Hayes, Sam Jennifer, and the outstanding attorney, Orlando Davenport, to work together on the Mid-Atlantic Green Hydrogen Hub. This project includes the states of Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. This is one of the seven hydrogen hubs launched by President Biden in October 2023. Globus Energy Group also put in place the first phase of an agreement to work with ACOM, Millennium Rail Energy, and High Towers Petroleum, the largest Black-owned energy company in the U.S., led by the trailblazer Steve Hightower. This also includes Hightower's Petroleum Africa. This is to pursue multiple opportunities in Africa, the Caribbean, and the USA. After laying the foundation for a year with Dr. Didicus Jules and the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States and ACOM, the feasibility study for the Shaw Power Project with the cruise lines will begin before the end of 2024. A pilot project in a number of islands will begin soon after completion of the study. This is a transformational project to reduce carbon emissions, a historic and groundbreaking initiative, which will also include the Caribbean Tourism Organization and the world's largest cruise lines. This project will be followed by a number of decarbonization projects in collaboration with ACOM in other ports in the Caribbean and the US. In the last six weeks, Globus Energy Group also co-hosted a roundtable on shore power with USAID at the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. This is in addition to convening two events on energy, infrastructure, and industrialization with Her Excellency Hilda Suka Mafutsi, the African Union Ambassador to the USA, and Dr. Didicus Jules and the OECS. We are building a corridor of opportunities in these sectors across Africa, the Caribbean, and the U.S. diaspora. We are also close to signing an MOU with KDM and Associates and the Federal Procurement Center, led by Keith Moore, which is part of the Minority Business Development Agency, which is under the Department of Commerce. In the coming weeks, we are finalizing agreements with a number of corporations in the U.S., the Caribbean, and Africa for wind and other energy projects. We look forward to the next six weeks and the last quarter of 2024, which we expect to close off with a ban. Dr. Jules and the team at the OECS played a major role in bringing this to fruition. It is my honor and distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Didicus Jules, Director General of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. My dear friend and earth mover, Nigel Salina, Your Excellencies, esteemed and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to address you today as we stand at the edge of a new era of unprecedented contradiction. On the one hand, uncertainty about the future and volatility of all shades, political, environmental, climatic, social. On the other hand, this period also presents unparalleled opportunities for collaboration, growth and prosperity. The collective economies of Africa, the Caribbean and the sixth region, including the African-American economy, represent a significant and powerful block valued in the trillions of US dollars. This immense economic potential presents us with countless opportunities for partnership through trade, commerce and investment. Africa's connection to the Caribbean and its diaspora is profound and multifaceted. Our historical ties have paved the way for a deeper and more meaningful collaboration. In recent years, we've witnessed remarkable strides towards uniting our regions. The first African Union CARICOM Summit in 2021 was a groundbreaking event. And just over a month ago, the Afrexim Bank held its annual meeting in the Bahamas, further solidifying our economic bonds. Additionally, the opening of an Afrexim Bank office in Barbados in 2023 is a testament to our growing collaboration. 
In 2022, the President of the United States hosted the successful USA-Africa Summit, highlighting the increasing importance of our collective efforts. This historical movement to merge Africa and the sixth region is taking place in real time, and I'm privileged to be part of this transformative journey. It feels as though we are reversing the triangular trade, creating a corridor of opportunity for our people across Africa, the Caribbean, and the US diaspora. This corridor is not one of exploitation, but of growth, development, and prosperity. It encompasses energy, health, education, trade, industrialization, food production, technology, STEAM, and AI. There has never been a better time for building this corridor of trade, commerce, and investment. Our goal is to foster collaboration, cooperation, partnership, and education, ensuring a brighter future for all our people. The OECS is leading the way by pioneering projects in the energy sector. We are working closely with various energy and infrastructure companies to modernize our energy systems. One notable initiative is the Shaw Power Project, which aims to provide clean energy to cruise lines at birth, significantly reducing carbon emissions. This concept introduced to the Caribbean Tourism Organization has garnered their willingness to partner with us. A feasibility study led by ACOM, the world's largest engineering firm, is on the way for a pilot project in three OECS member states. A critical component of this plan is education. As part of our overall strategy, we are establishing an online energy institute. This institute will prepare locals to participate in the forthcoming energy revolution ensuring that our people are well equipped to embrace modern, efficient energy systems deployed throughout the OECS. In conclusion, we are at a pivotal moment in our history. By uniting our regions and harnessing our collective strengths, we can build a corridor of opportunity that will bring growth, development and prosperity to our people. Let us continue to work together, fostering collaboration, cooperation, and education as we pave the way for a brighter future. I thank you.